evening. Good to see all of you here tonight for our evening service. If you would, take your hymn books, number 370, 370, Rejoice, the Lord is King. Let's stand, let's sing, 370. Rejoice, the Lord is King, your Lord and King adore. Rejoice, give thanks and sing and triumph evermore. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I'd say rejoice. Jesus the Savior reigns, the God of truth and love. When he had purged our stains, he took his seat above. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say rejoice. His kingdom cannot fail, he rules o'er earth and heaven. The keys of death and hell are to our Jesus' gift. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say rejoice, rejoice in glorious hope our Lord the judge shall come and take his servants up to their eternal home lift up your heart lift up your voice rejoice again I say rejoice Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the privilege you give us to come to your house once again. Father, it in the, indeed we can rejoice. Indeed we can come to the throne of grace because of the work of Christ on the cross for us. Lord, we praise you for the privilege you give us to as a, a body of believers in the liberty that we have in this, our country. Father, I pray that you would allow us to rejoice and allow us to find comfort in your word. And that Lord, as the days go forward, that you would find a, a, a group of people faithful to your calling, faithful to the Great Commission, and, Father, faithful to the body of Christians right here in South Florida. Lord, we love you. We certainly thank you for giving us this privilege and opportunity. Father, be with William tonight as he uh, challenges us from your word and allow, us, allow your word to take root in our hearts. Lord, we love you. We thank you in Christ's holy name. Amen. Please turn around and greet those around you. As you come back to your places, if you would take your hymn book one more time. One of our favorites here at Plantation Baptist, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. Number 358, 358, sing with all your heart. God sent His Son, they called Him Jesus.
my Savior live because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know Just because he lives, how sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives, but greater still. child can face on certain days because he lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know Amen. Wonderful singing again. If you all can face tomorrow because you live, say amen. 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 Uh, a few more announcements for tonight. If you weren't here this morning, uh, the Wednesday night meals will be taking a break uh, for the month of July. Uh, they will, will resume in August, uh, the first week of August again on Wednesday night. Uh, so just be prepared and, and stop and get something to eat on the way here. Also, for Wednesday night prayer, and the prayer meeting, the Bible study, Please call in their, your prayer request. Uh, try to get as many prayer requests as we can get called in so we can put them in the bulletin for the evening service. service. Um, so that way we can have them and go over them and pray for everyone. The Mission to Haiti team is doing well. Um, they didn't get no reports back yet today, but I'm sure there'll be stuff on Facebook tomorrow um, about what happened over there today and the services and everything. So let's continue to pray for them that God will do his will and use them over there. July 17th again is Dr. Richard Freeman. He will be here to um, preach for us, and he's a great guy to hear him preach. Kids Summer Splash. Uh, we talked about it this morning. Just want to go over it a little bit more again today. Um, K-4 through 5th grade, if you would like to bring a kid or if you know someone that has a kid, then invite them to come out. It will be July 22nd, start at 10 a.m. It goes till about 12 p.m. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll put little invitation cards on a, on a welcome desk. So that way you can take them home and hand them to them. So that way they can stick them on the refrigerator for a day or two until next week. Uh, just try to get as many kids out here as we can to have fun. And it's a great time for the, the youth. July 24th is the baptismal service again at 6 p.m. And be here for that. July 30th, the Amen meeting again. If you all weren't here this morning, it will be held at Robbins Park. It will be from 4 to 8 p.m. There is a sign-up sheet at the Welcome Center. 
please sign up if you can make it. It is for all men of all ages. And if you haven't been to one, please bring a friend and uh, allow them to get to know the Amen Ministry. It's a great ministry. It's working in his church, and it's led by Ben, ben Branch. If you have any questions, you can see Ben. And there will be a, a meal that night, and we'll be responsible for bringing the side dishes because there will be a roast pig and crawfish there. July 31st is the Lord's Table and the morning services. Both morning services will we'll, we'll have the communion table set up, and we'll be doing that. August 5th is the defensive driver's class. We talked about it this morning. Um, a lot of people are interested in it. They've come up and asked me questions already. Wednesday night, there will be a sign-up sheet on a welcome desk. And the welcome desk is going to be full, but we'll try to squeeze it in there somewhere. Uh, there wasn't one up today because we're still trying to work out the, the amount of money it's going to cost for everybody to come there. We're trying to see if we can lower the price a little bit more. It's not expensive, but we want to just work out the best price we can for everyone. When you get the certificate, you send it to your insurance company, and they give you a, a discount on your insurance. We all can use a discount on our insurance. October 21st and 22nd is the marriage retreat over in Bonita Springs again. What a wonderful time it was last year, as we said this morning. And we're looking forward to it again this year. Please sign up for that. That's in the, at the welcome desk. So we can get a head count and get everybody going over there. Um, something to mention, go over a day ahead of time. We did that last year. We had a great time just hanging out and getting a little away time. And uh, you'll enjoy that over there. Um, we Don't forget about the Plantation Baptist app. The Lord put that in my heart today. And we can also do prayer requests to the app. Put your prayer request to the app and just look at it and stuff like that. Reuben did change the, the message that comes through when it goes off, so it doesn't scare you half to death, so it's pretty good now. Um, at this time, I'd like to ask Brother Simeon to come up here and pray for our offering. And um, Brother Simeon has come on board with us for a few weeks now, so we're still trying to get him worked in here. So, Brother Simeon. Good evening. <clears throat> Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, just want to take this time, Lord, just to give you thanks for your faithfulness towards us, Lord. Lord, we gather here today, Lord, in your house, Lord, just as brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord. Um, pray that you just be with us right now, Lord, as we hear your precious words, Lord. Lord, your word is precious, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we're about to have together now, Lord. Lord, I pray for Will. As they come forth and just preach your message, Lord, I pray that you just speak through him, Lord. Just humble his soul, Lord, and just continue to just be with him, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that we had today, Lord. In your holy name I pray. Amen. I'm sorry, if you were sitting on this side, you, you thought we had hired a uh, automatic piano player, but that was Dominic Espinosa. Thank you, Dominic. And uh, uh, Dominic is the oldest of Danny and Anais who did the offertory for us this morning. And uh, we're trying to squeeze everything we can 
out of the Espinosa family before they leave next week. And so be in prayer for them. Next Sunday will be their last Sunday. So if you don't want to stand in line and get your last hugs out, take advantage of them. They don't mind the closeness. They're from Miami, so it's not a problem. <laughs> but uh, we do praise the Lord for them and, and uh, are excited for what's in store. Uh, before Will, William comes up, I just want to uh, kind of introduce him real quick because I know he's not going to take the time to, to do this part. About 18 months ago, I remember uh, being out in uh, the plantation fields and, and just asking William, you know, what is God doing in your life? And here's a young man um, who, as he spoke, he, he spoke very kindly. He spoke very meekly. Um, he spoke very um, honest as to the fact of seeking God's direction um, and having lit literally the entire world before him as far as options are concerned. Um, he went to um, a very exclusive school here in, in, um, in Broward, and he had scholarships to go just about anywhere. And it was awesome to hear how he sought God in his direction and wisdom for his life. And, and to see the transition to how God took him and has placed him in a, in a Christian college in, here in Florida. And even up to the point of going to school, and I don't know if he's going to share this part, how, how God changed what his desires were um, from law to ministry. And, and if, um, if there's ever been a gross measure in anyone, and, and I haven't had the opportunity that I've had uh, to meet the other guys as much as I've had to meet Will this last summer. It's been tremendous to see his growth as an individual, uh, but also spiritually, uh, just since he's been back from school for, from one year. Um, some may not know, but uh, he is one of our interns, and, and it's been tremendous to see how God has been working in their lives and, and using them in preparation for whatever's in store for them, whether it's here in South Florida or anywhere in the world. And so today is a day of first. Um, believe it or not, it was my first day, uh, my first time preaching in the morning service, and I appreciate for those that were here. Uh, but it is William's very first time. So if uh, Grandma wants to say an extra amen in Spanish, that's okay. You know, she may only understand half of it. No, I'm just kidding. She'll understand all of it. But but um, welcome William up here and encourage him as he opens God's word and directs us in his study. Come on, William. Good evening, everyone, uh, and thank you so much for coming. Other than that, to serve God, and um, I wasn't sure if that's where he wanted me, and I was not confident that's where he wanted me. I felt called to call to the I changed to pastoral ministries and she saw that I was so much happy was so much happy ministering I I love helping out with the kids. It's so much fun. And I really enjoy it. B, in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6. B, as, as a ministerial student, we get a chance to be kids. And um, throughout the year, we preach to each other as practice. Teen kids. Teen kids and see how comfortable you are up there speaking. And so, see how comfortable you are kids. Teen kids. After you do your message, they record it, give you feedback, and you have about two or three weeks, and then you do it again, and you improve upon it. Well, right before I went to give it again, lift it again, teen kids, teen kids, use this message in my life. For me to be able to see this in my life, this message, kids. God used this teen kids. The reason that he was able to do that. Um, so I know in life, 
We all go through troubles. We all go through troubles. Message. Message. God uses amazing that he was able to do it. We've all had those days where it seems like, and that was a state that I used this message and be a kid. God, you say that I found myself in this past semester. Days like these are frustrating. And we forget to say that I God, you say that I a situation I found myself in that Friday. I was going through the worst and most stressful in that Friday. It wasn't even until later that day that and that was a state that I was a kid. God, you. And I immediately felt relieved, and everything else afterwards. Worked. And I immediately felt God, you. And that was a kid. God. They turned. Be careful for nothing. They turned. Okay, God, you. And that was a kid. God. Let your requests be made known unto God. Hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And that was a state that I was a kid. God, you hearts and minds to worry about anything. That was a state that I was a careful for hearts and minds the opposite of faith. Now, I've heard people say that, preachers say that. I never really understood what it meant. And that was a state that I was a kid. God, you hearts and minds. You kind of do have to think about it to see, because faith and fear don't exactly seem like antonyms. Faith and fear are opposites because when you have faith, you cannot have fear. If you have faith in a situation, and that was a state that I was a kid, God, you God that He will work through it. So, we see, we see, and that was a state that I was a kid, God, you in Matthew 17 20, that I was a kid, you. If you have faith as a grain of Because he cares for us, that we don't have to worry about some of the things that we. And that was a state, kid. God, you to you. If is, you need to remember, there are much more important things in this life. To things in this life. To, and that was a state that I kid. God, you to you. Witnessing to, sharing about that as as much as we should. And I know as, I know that that as much as we was a state, about that as, to you. 
Next, in Matthew 11, verses to you, as much as we just stay thinking about that as to you, they cast their cares, they cast their cares about that as much as we think about to you. You rest. Take my yoke upon about that as much as we think about that to you. Now, souls, for my yoke is easy. Just stay that. See, a lot of times, if we find ourselves being weighed down by, we just stay that. Remember, unto you, now, unto your trusting Jesus Christ, because He said His yoke is easy. Just stay that. Remember, unto you, now, unto your the oxen. Just stay that. Remember, unto you, now, unto your oxen together would do the. Stay that. And so, if you're in a yoke in a relationship with Jesus Christ, and so if you're in a, yoke, and so, unto you, now. And he's telling them that, you know, if you're with him, and so if you're in a yoke, and so to you, now we might try to push ourselves ahead, and try ourselves ahead. And so if you're in a yoke, and so to you, now hopefully, we might too often, but Jesus Christ said his happy about that. After that, he took Peter and threw him into prison. And he was going to take Peter out after to take Peter out. And so if you're in a and you believers were gathered, were gathered. If you're in a, and so if you're in a, and you, they were in prayer continually in con- So if you're in a, was a state, and so and you, and you know, thrown in the prison after that, and you, and if you're in a, was a state that I, and so if to you and you know to offer cool and fervent prayer. They were praying for Peter to be let out. For Peter to be let out. If you're in a, and so if you're in a and the guards beside him. But in the, if you're in a was a state that I, and so if the two gone, all the guards were asleep. He if you're in a was a state that I, and so if the two guards, that's when Peter came to his senses and realized this isn't a vision. This actually and so if you're in a was and so the to the prison, he was there was no way he could have gotten out.
being humble. So if you're in a position, and so you feel like it's something that you can take care of, it's not that big of a situation. God doesn't need to act here. I can do it. Like I said, I'm fervent to you. From the middle end, he will exalt you in due time. So after supplication, we see it talks about thanksgiving. And that's more straight. Because you may feel like it's that. And so sometimes to you too. Often, when I go to prayer myself, I try to implement this. I try to be thinking this. I try to be like And so sometimes you may feel like And so to you too. God answer my prayer request. You may feel like it's that. Actual and fervent. To you too. Ask for, you can get them whatever they want. And they'll keep wanting. I'm like that. And, like, and so sometimes you may and a lot of us, I'm sure, are like that. God will bless us. Somebody, and a lot of us, like I said, will want more. We'll say, God, you know, I know you, you, you answer my prayer request, but can I have like I said, somebody in fervent to you to ask for a girl, no matter where you are, no matter how much. He was faithful even unto death. He was, would preach and teach. He, next, after we, next, in Thanksgiving, we see that we will gain tranquility. And that's verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep you, which passeth the peace of God, It passes all understanding, and it really does. When you truly... I know a lot of people in this world, they don't... ...the Bible and in Jesus Christ. Now, I was on Facebook a while ago, and I saw a video that caught my attention. It was about a secular, non-Christian rapper. He was in this interview, and I forget what caption caught my attention to make me want to watch it. But it was something about him having the answers. So I figured, you know, let's see what he has the answer to. So I figured, you know, let's see more. If that's where you find your joy. You'll never be satisfied. You'll always want more money. And he applied that to anything, to alcohol, to drugs, to women. Nobody is satisfied in this world until they find Jesus Christ. But that's not the conclusion he came to. His conclusion was that we need to find joy in our families. And now that it is important, we should try to keep those relationships. But ultimately, we know that our satisfaction is in Christ because we are sinful humans. We still let ourselves down. We let each other down. We let God down. But God has never let anyone down. So we see that God, he provides his peace. He will give us this peace that we don't understand. Talking about this peace, Jesus Christ to the woman at the well said, I have a water that when you drink of it, you will never thirst. He wasn't talking about a physical water, but he was talking about having that eternal satisfaction in Christ, not having to look for more. Once you once you have it, you have it. peace I give unto you, not as a See, he was telling on this peace, this peace I'm in this world. This peace that I'm going to give to you is only a peace that I can give to you. This peace that I'm going to give to you. So don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let it be in this world. And when I experienced it first during that terrible, horrible 
this world. I understand how. I understand how I can feel so So as I was telling you about that story, let's continue that story. So in my mornings, this world. Well, on top of this world. Because back then, I was still seeing it in this world. Back in time, because we were planning on going on a cruise ship right when I got back from school. In this world. Didn't really matter at the time, but I didn't know that. In this world. Much that I finally got off class after lunchtime. After lunch. In this world. The post office got the money order. In this world. A pin number on it. So there was, I guess, the one of the pin number on it. In this world. So finally I look up a nearby bank that I could. In this world. This world. I call my mom because I in this world. I have a pin. Just didn't work out. Went back to the car, plugged it in the car charger. This time drove over to the bank, got there, again went in, went to um, see if I could get the money order. And they said, you know, this card is, is not get the money yours. So you can't use it. So, oh wow. So, you in this world, got the money order and um, went to the, not in this world. It's because when I wanted to do it here in Fort Lauderdale, not your, that's why I pushed it off. I didn't want to wait for an hour. But I walked in the courthouse. There's no, that's why I pushed it. That's why I pushed it. Not your, in this world, I have it working. So I went to fill out. I filled out a new form because I filled out in blue ink. It needed to be in black ink. Had my picture. Pushed it. That's why I pushed it. Not your money order. And she looked at it and said, no, you need, it needs to be two separate money orders. You need to split it because one stays here and one goes with your passport. So now I have to go back to the bank for like the fourth time. Uh, for the money order. And she said, this world. Leaned in and looked and said, parking violation. Money order in this world. And worse. And I could not believe it. And it, is, it was at this moment that I called my mom. And I was so frustrated. And I remember to her the money order in this world. And that was when my mom said, hey, son, you know, do you have money order in this world? And things got worse. Because I saw that I hadn't been trusting in God. I had that guilt on top of this world. God and trusting in him with my situation. I felt a peace. Money order in this world. And um, I had her split the, <laughs> the money order for me. And I had the money order in this world for me putting so much stress. I had the money order in Figure out about what had been going on, what had happened, and how you know it'd been a terrible. How you know it'd been ordered. Handed her not your this world. Dealing with have a deal with all my paperwork. All I did sign the not this world. After I trusted in God, gave it over to Him. Not money order. Hand not your this world. Dealing. I was planning on going to Miracle League, which is the money order. This wall. And uh, it's for special needs people, adults. I heard the money order in this way. I spend my Friday nights up there. Then to do that is so much fun. I heard the money order in this way. I had such an early start to my day. I didn't get to have my. I heard the money order in this way. But after that, I handed her the money order in this way. Is any better? I was an hour back. After that, I went to dinner with my sister and some friends. Money order. This was. I 
have a peace right now. And like I said, when I got that peace, the moment I felt it, it was a moment I didn't believe it. Handed her the not your this was any I didn't feel any stress about it. I didn't worry about it. And then I was able to go to the Miracle League that night. I was able to be a buddy of one of the players. I heard the money order and she this if I'd gone at all. But I went with a good spirit because God was with me because I knew I had God had worked through my situation that 